transition over here so we can get started i hope everybody's been having a great day today um you want to know what's funny let me give you guys <laughs> let me uh tell you something funny that happened today so earlier today um let me actually all right so um i wanted to trade earlier for you guys like a overall probably like a pop-up trade session i wanted to do and the broker went offline i even announced like when the broker was supposed to be coming back online and if i told you guys what happened i don't think you'd believe me like, i literally was sitting in this chair and i guess i've, I've been like i've had such a lack of sleep or oh, your gbp is reversing right now um but um then i fell asleep on this chair i literally woke up like 10 minutes before <laughs> before not like an, i woke up at like 8 50 and i was like all right i gotta go walk my dog do all these things and that's the reason why we were delayed but uh we're gonna get started now uh i don't know if you like your gbp is giving reversal vibes um ideally you want to be by like four six seven for the best entry and you want to take it for a minute and 30 seconds ish so and you know you should still be good you still have more, more uh, multiple confirmations your k line's about to cross once this candle closes it should push down which should give you an extra candle candle and a half or minute minute and a half of doubt uh, you, um, uh, it did euro gbp oh i still got it yeah daddy damn they, they they tried you sorry so even i'm gonna I'm take it man if they shut oh sorry well we can watch it play out and i can actually just for the people that uh is my stream fuzzy or anything like that is it, is it looking good all right so if anybody by any chance got to take that opportunity oh god with this fuzz oh hold on actually you know what look at that you know what i think i know Mm -hmm. Do it this way. Let's do it the, the other way. The other way it seems to have a less fuzzy screen. Let's stop this. I'm gonna keep recording though because I want to be able to keep this going. With all right, so let's try this way. My fault, y'all. I'm trying to give you get you guys the best experience possible. It, oh, that's really close to my face. I apologize. And now we can go to the share screen side. Go to this screen. Let's meet. So we go with 1080. All right, here we go. So I was, I've been looking at ways to make this experience a little better. Oh, if you guys got it, you cleared. Good, good. So there you go. Clear. Now let me explain. Let me show Can you see my screen? And is my screen looking better now? so so if for the people that say my screen isn't showing it's going to show separate it's going to be a separate tab and you got to press on it and it's going to pop up now it's not both of us on one so let me explain why i knew this was going to be an opportunity because we called it from up here right so the reason why i knew this was an opportunity and i knew that you guys were going to be able to take it for about a minute or a minute and a half is the following right now they took it off wow so so the reason why is because at that point, um, at that point, is my stream still looking well? Because now it says that I'm, uh, it paused my preview. All right, good. So awesome, awesome. So yeah, yeah, I got the clear. All right, so you guys, at least for the people that are on and got took the trade, do you understand why you guys cleared that trade? You had multiple confirmations. I didn't even have to look at it much. So it goes back to it goes back to um. It goes back to once you learn the strategy, right? Like, do I have to spend a lot of time looking at charts? Not necessarily. So my stream is my but my stream is going to be on the left side, like on the it's going to be up here. Uh, it's going to so if you look at everything, my stream was going to have its its own individual window. Check and see. 
you guys can't i'm looking at it right now options there you go i'll make sure you guys find it awesome yeah just look for it the screaming is there though it's just not normally when i do my streams it's on both when i try to use the other browser thing there you go perfect and if you don't if you still haven't found it just refresh your screen refresh it and you should be good yeah and i'm at the bottom exactly yeah so okay cool so understanding that once you understand a strategy right it allows you to identify opportunities and you don't necessarily have to sit there and stare at a chart all day to get those opportunities I logged in. I told you I woke up 10 minutes ago or like 20. Well, now it's like 40 minutes ago, right? I haven't looked at the chart. It was OTC when I looked, but because I understand my strategy and what I want to see, the moment I hopped on that pair, which they just took off, I knew the moment that I got there that there was a chance that there could be a reversal, right? So it makes, it makes you know, if you have a, a goal and a plan in mind, it makes it a lot easier. Keeping in mind that right now, if we refresh this right now, we're not going to have as many opportunities as we would on a normal, like in a high, in a high trading volume session, understanding that then it allows me to create a better pacing for this, for this approach. Right? So if we're going based on if so, what this, why am I sharing all of this with you guys? Well, one, I want you guys to all make money on your own. Right. But also it allows you to ha have a proper expectation for the, how many trades we should be taking in this plot in the, in this session specifically. Right. Um, we want to take the trades that are going to be the most, confluential i don't know if that's a word confluential specifically but i like how it sounds so i'm using it um we want to be able to pick or to identify opportunities that have the most confluence in them right now when i say confluence hold on i'm just trying to align everything so that i start narrowing things down they start to uh, here all right we're gonna go so why why did i just take time to do this well i just identified two areas where i need to be paying attention to my highest opportunity is going to be reversal right here more likely than not and reversal right here well realistically it can come anywhere between here so this one is probably going to be more probable than this one, right now of course when i have all these tools lining up does that mean that the moment it happens i jump in no i like to wait for confirmations ideally because if i understand that my information is correct I'll miss a candle, yeah, but I should still be safe enough to take a two-minute candle. If my if everything's aligned, it'll look like the first trade that we called out where you're not gonna you're not winning by one or two points, you're winning by a decent margin. So again, patience oftentimes, especially around this time, trading volume wise, it's always better to just elude some patience, wait for those opportunities, let them come to you, understand what you're looking for, like ideally what what the conditions that you want to be are. And that way, when you jump in, you're able to take that take advantage of that opportunity. Now, why do I think that this is still a reverse zone right here? Even though the price is still, as you can see, trending up, why do I think that makes it a reverse zone? Well, as you can see, as it touches this body, as it, as it touches this line, since this part that I focused on, it's always, even though, even though it's gradually working its way up, it's always rejected and made its way back up gradually from there. See right here, look touches or uh, it gets close to touching rejects boom touches of uh, this one break this one breaks it closes at it breaks it back down right and it just plays within this channel that's also within a bunch of other channels right but as you can see even up here as the grip makes its way up it touches this line rejects touches this line rejects touches this line rejects so in an ideal world i'm expecting that even though it's going gr to gradually get up the closer my entry is to this line up here the more likely i'm going to be to win it and the same thing becomes with down here, even though right now it's showing signs of a reversal. You see the K crosses the D, all the conditions have aligned. The only thing that didn't happen here is a break in channel, which means you don't have full confluence, right? So what, what, what would I do? I most likely would want to wait, see what happens when it gets into this area. And then I want to sell it for two to three minutes, depending on when I decide to enter. Um, this area becomes, just so everybody's on the same page, is between anywhere between 203 and 210 which is a bigger is a like it's a pleasantly big window and in an ideal world we can narrow it down to a little better so let's see what happens ideally you want to be closer to 210 than to 203 but let's see let's get in there now you see these this momentum this candle breaks this super trend is going to give you a buy super trend 
So we want to see what happens with that first. Because a buy super trend can renege or even if we even if the entry looks good, it can still push you out. So we want to wait and measure everything accordingly. Right? So we want to watch. Also, uh the in in the area of I forgot where I put it exactly, but there's a there's a bunch of like candle uh candle uh like pictures and stuff that explain different types of candles you want to see. Oftentimes when I'm trading, even though you know, I'm not, I don't call, you're not going to hear me call them by whatever can, the name of the candle is. Um, those candle ideas come into effect. Now watch this. Super trend is still something that's going to reverse here. Look at it rejecting this line right here. All I want to see now, ideally, in an ideal world, I want to wait until it gets the highest entry possible, right? Because it could push up high. I want it to give me a little higher than that. All right. And if it doesn't give me the higher entry, then I would, you know, I would wait. But you want to be as close to this area where we said 210, 2, well, right now it's a little higher. It's 213, 215. So 215 is the, where you want to ideally enter. But you, and so the reason why I haven't jumped in yet, it might, I'm still not truly overbought yet. So I'm just waiting to get for it to align. Again, patience at this time, you're going to need patience. Sometimes you might miss a candle, might need to jump in for two. That's perfectly fine. As long as you're quick with your finger, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you should be fine. So here, look, here, pay attention to what happens when this candle closes and what happens here. Now, the entry didn't change. I never changed my mind on the entry. I'm just waiting for everything to align because that's a lot better for me. So now everything's aligned. If you got that entry, you should be good. I'm going to wait until it gives me a higher entry so I can get in for two minutes. Ideally, I want to be now between 208 and 216. It's a big window, but we're going to hit 216 or tank, so you should be good. As a matter of fact, because I haven't had enough time i'm gonna take one there i want to get i wanted to push up again just one more time so just give me that one more friendly little peek up there what i call the fake out and i'm gonna go and take it again because if, if if the broker likes me at all, right, it'll give me another opportunity to get in. Now, I understand that this is a business for the broker, and he's actually betting on me to lose instead. And I understand that 100%. But if he respects me at all, yeah, he'll do something like that. Well, he's going to try to fake me out like I'm a new one, and then I can catch him trying to catch me. But I don't know if he's going to give me that. Oh, he might. He might. Hold on. He might think I'm one of them. Ah, uh, he's not gonna give me a retouch. Oh, he is. There you go. So I, <laughs> so he gave me my little. I just wanted that little extra spot because the higher. I know one thing. I know is this, and I tell you guys this all the time. When looking for an entry, the higher the entry is, the more likely it is to win. Now this entry, even though I expect these candles to keep coming down, right now it's still relatively high for me. You guys, if you guys got in when I told you guys to get in, then your entries is is pretty deep in. Mine's are still now like my bottom one is still relatively close. So I wanted to just, you know, secure at least something. So you guys, uh, th uh, and this is CAD JPY. Two, 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 two. Yeah, you guys should have cleared the entry again. The, but now me, this is where things get interesting for me. My, the K line, again, again, look, so watch this. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, pay attention. As it gets closer to this line, this is why I'm saying that the top one is more likely for me to win, which is a lot closer to the entry that you guys got in. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to get as close to the entry that I gave you guys as possible. Um, let's see, though. So my top one is the one that's closer to you guys. The bottom one is the one that's me fear of missing out. As you can see, fear of missing out is going to happen to the best of us. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not trying to make money with you guys right All right, so is it still valid? No, I don't think it's still valid. Only because that look at the K, look at the K line and the D. So normally when you when you so even for me, right, this 15 seconds over time is already kind of like pushing it, right? Like I I would have had a higher chance winning with this candle than oh wait maybe I was wrong, maybe I get it by the last second. Oh, the broker respects me at least a little bit. So. <laughs> 
So the one that was as close to your entry, I cleared. And the one that was me fear of missing out, I didn't. Right? But let me explain why it wasn't valid no more, right? At least in the short term of it all. So the reason, in my opinion, why it wasn't valid was at that point when you asked, the K line was way above the D. And even right now, they just kind of merged into one where it's not as profound, as, you know, as significant like it is right here. Also that I still predict that the price is going to keep working its way up. And the gap between here, where we talked about was right around here to here was kind of steep. And I didn't want you to take a trade, get pushed up, and then get caught up in that. So the only reason, right? Um, and he, but again, look, so this candle, you might be able to double dip on this one. You might be able to take it for two minutes. And you just need to take it around 206. So if it pushes up around 206 at any point, adjust the time to whatever's left in the candle. So more, than like, more likely than not, it'll be like one minute and 30 or something like that. And then you want to sell as well. Same pair too. It's just giving back to back looks. I don't know how it's doing it like this, but it's giving back to back looks. And when the broker wants to do you a favor like that, you don't just, you don't, you don't complain. You just take it. So again, ideally you want to be near 204, 206. Me, with my fear of missing out when I'm on the session is just takes over, man. Takes over. So if you guys can wait, if, if at all, 204, 206, or the highest point. <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, I figured out that I got the soundboard there. Let me see. I'm going to give y'all something right now. When I want to trade, this is what y'all going to hear. Or, y'all going to, and when I want to trade, that's really something easy. It's going to it's gonna be there. They're going to hear random sounds, right? So y'all can play with the soundboard yourself. Like when I have a bad trade, y'all can hit me with the, uh, let me see, where is it? Where is it? Did I not upload it? Oh, yeah. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all can tell I'm awfully immature, but it is what it is. Okay, so if you did take the trade at any point we should be clearing in the next 17 seconds or so we'll see how it plays out but as of now i'll even explain why i told you guys it was a double dip All right i'll even explain the double dip theory everything sounds amazingly like uh what everything sounds like a conspiracy when you call it a theory okay so i'll explain we cleared that one right so let me explain why we were going to clear that and why i knew it wasn't going to be an issue right and you guys shouldn't have any losses at that because i've given you guys the best entries you could have taken and which the lowest risk possible and you guys have po possibly had even bigger margins than me right so i'll explain both opportunities and how they came back to back and how you can identify these two opportunities when they when they present themselves to you back to back all right so before that because i'm seeing all the clears and i do got the soundboard i'm sorry y'all but we're gonna go with let me see i gotta pick something <laughs> all right i'm immature um so yeah so so let me explain and and actually we might actually get another opportunity we just have to see how this plays out so remember this uh, uh, right now i told you guys that the window is so the window back here was bigger than the window right here is now the window starts to narrow down now oftentimes you guys hear the word window and you make it more complicated than what it needs to be a window it just think of when i say window the only thing i mean by that is the window of opportunity how am I determining that window of opportunity? Well, one, remember what confluence is. It's an area where more, multiple of your, conf, uh, of your indicators are telling you that there should be something happening. If this candle breaks this, if, all right, so first you need to see the, all oh, the Bollinger Bands even on right now. My fault. So first thing you want to see is, right, let me I can see. All right, so yeah. So the first thing you want to see is you got to sell super trend, right? Which is one of the things we want to see. Why? Because we predict that the price where it should reject is going to be by 154 all the way down to 133. So think about that. Think about how big that window is. And by window, again, window of opportunity. From 155, 155-ish, I want to say 156, down to, if on this point, it'll be 133. That's kind of steep. So ideally, you do want the super trying to be in effect, right? You want it to push down to as low as possible. Why? Because if it does, you what you would have is a breaking a breaking Kellner, a breaking Bollinger Band, a push down so, uh, a push down Donchin that will eventually flatten out once it rejects this line. Then you'll have 
this uh your stochastic in oversold condition and your williams in oversold condition the only thing that will come into play down right here that's going to change the price direction is price action that we've been tracking for a long time this is what three hours worth of information so using three hours worth of information we determine that the price is every time it gets close to this line it rejects and every time it gets close to the bottom line it projects understanding that then we want to again it goes back to, to identifying so 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 the soundboard it just came with it right but because we've been doing the boosting and we every time we up like we level it up we get more stuff the soundboard just came with it so when we boosted it uh it popped up now it's under so you see where like where it says like video and all that stuff it should have like a little music thing there and that'll be a soundboard you can click it and you can just use the but any of them that you like when i have a bad trade you can use even the old board that you stink i don't care i'll find the hilarious but yeah so does that make sense why we why those opportunities are going to be the more probable ones awesome so now we have a choice and the funny thing is since there's only two pairs that's been paying out 70 we have not have to left we haven't had to leave this pair at all and we've still found opportunities right the thing is that we just can't be shotgunning those opportunities we got to pace ourselves we got to understand that yeah we're gonna have i'll give you an example this look was a good look this look was a great look you know what i'm saying this look was probable think about it like this if you got in when i told you this was really probable for you if you got in later like me it was less probable we got in we made it by a little by a few seconds now think about this one if you had the same opportunity to present itself this one you had more confidence because everything lined up even the super trend right uh so on this so seeing all of that right then you know all right well how probable is it well once this candle closed and this one opened is when you got the super trend so you knew all right well three candles okay cool well three candles and i'm getting a super trend well i'll get two more candles okay that's cool so you knew this trade right here only because more of the indicators lined up did you know that that's the, again the only reason why we knew we can jump in again was because once this candle was formed which was a confirmation candle everything else aligned and it gave us all these candles now i remember what we predict as well the window again the window of opportunity stays stays in effect and notice how as these candles start to build momentum down it becomes they become more and more indecisive each candle wicking off as it hits a new low and then it wicks off and pulls back so that's what we need to see we need this candle to build fake momentum right so come down with fake momentum to get people that think it's going to sell start selling right and then it needs to actually do what it needs to do which is bounce back off of this little area right here i wish i had like a circle that i could but a bounce off of this little narrow window right here and once we get into this narrow window we should be good some of you guys are going to want to take it sooner but if you do that remember right now we're, the goal is to make money on these sessions and if you take every trade opportunity without waiting for the best opportunity then you're going to have trades like i did last one where everybody else wins but you lose based on just not waiting for the best entry sometimes the best entry is just a few seconds away in our case right now we don't even know how many seconds away is going to be but as you see it's starting to get there the difference between entering a trade all the way up here and entering a trade closer to down here if we believe that it's gonna it could reject here you see what i mean you could have entered right here and been tight now our window starts to look good so now we're at 151 so we're from 151 now which originally was like 160 something what it was 160 155 so 151 to 144 way smaller window right you want to be close to 144 but if you're at 151 you should still feel relatively safe if you're at 151 you want to be in for three minutes if you're at 140 whatever it is that you want to you can get in for two or three it doesn't really matter the lower you are the more likely you are to win so you can take it for less time because it should reject right away and even if it breaks it should pull back in and wick and close into this little area right here anyways so if you're at this line the chances of candles closing after that under that line decrease at least for the first five minutes so we'll see it play out now we actually oh man the window might have so if you, you if you got in then you might be you're going to be great if you didn't get in i don't know if we're going to get a chance for it to retest and, and put us in that window now it could because we got the super trend right so it might fake out and push down here which is oh my god the window just got smaller so 150 to 140 150 to 144 so now we got a six point window we started with like a 12 point window and now we got a six point window 
The thing is that, look, K line above the D, everything is aligned. Rejection from the Donchin in any other instance, this will be a perfect scenario, right? So even if you're if you're already in this trade, don't feel like, oh, you got in too early. You might be perfect. You might actually cut it right where the price was going to reject from because it doesn't always have to get to this line to reject, right? But if you didn't get in, we and you know by the grace of God we get blessed with something between 150 and 145. We gotta be good. But if you got it, you're gonna be good too. So just watch it play out. And it'll be funny because that mean that would this would mean that we caught three back to back trades or four back to back trades, something like that, on the same pair. First camp, yeah. This you, you if you got in at the bottom at that at, the, at this one. What is it? One one foot one this is 150 you got it anywhere near that 150 there's no way you're losing that trade now i want this candle even though it's selfish of me to say this because if you got it at 150 that means this is your last candle this is your last like 40 something seconds so that's fine i'm not going to say this because i don't want to wish y'all bad luck so i'm gonna just let y'all win and then i'm gonna say this but ideally what i would want to happen would be so that everybody here can get the opportunity would be I would want this candle to, cl to close as low as possible so that we could re-enter and then we can go with it. Because again, I, I believe that no matter what, if it gets, even if, it, if the super trend stays in effect, the moment it gets near this area, it'll either uh, reject or break and come back and close in this area. So anytime I'm in this area, I want to take an entry somewhere near this window until the price drastically changes. So look, if, like I said, if you, you would have cleared. Like, if you got in at... Did anybody take it? Something, somebody took that trade. That was such a lovely window right there. Tell me somebody took it. Let me see. I'm looking at the chat. Nobody took it. Oh, Christ, man. All right, so we'll look for one more. I'll give you, I'll give you guys one more good one because I love trying to make y'all... Look, right now, I'm telling you right now, if y'all are compounding, y'all already made y'all membership. Oh, there you go. I knew somebody took it. I knew Ricardo, my boy. So the funny thing is, do you know why windows are great? I'm going to tell you why giving people... Oh, look, we might be able to get back in and look at this window. The window is about to... Oh, God, look. So for the people that missed it, for the people that were waiting like me, right? Look at this window where it's 150. If it comes... you want Ideally, you want it to just keep playing in this little zone. When this Donchin meets this line right here, which would be this next candle, I believe... There you go. So this candle, you want it to come to whatever this is, 150. 150, you want to see what happens when it gets to 150, and then you want to take it for two to three minutes for a buy. Just wait. Wait. I'm going to even, I'm going to even ace myself for this. Do I want to take three or do I want to take two? I want to say take three only because the K line is still under the D and I want to give it enough time that even if it does come down or do whatever, I, it can it can push me back up. So if it gets to this 150 spot, you know what we're doing. One, yeah, 150. We're doing for a bot. And that would mean that we literally... I'm actually taking it right there. Yeah, I, 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 I took it. Now, you guys can wait and see... You, you, uh, well, yeah, I was going to say, you guys can wait and see where the candle closes before you look for another entry if you didn't take it. Um, don't take it if it pulls back up too high. Remember that you're more likely to win if it, if you if you're at the line or under the line, right? But if you're above the line and your entry's too above that line, you can still lose it. So I was able to, but I took it for three minutes. Uh, so I accidentally took it for three, but it sh I should still be good. There you go. I'm in at like one forty-five or something, or one forty. I'm in at one forty-six or one forty-five. I don't know. Now, three minutes. Why three minutes, right? Well, normally when you identify a reversal, you get a three candle movement. For us, that's not necessarily why we took it for three minutes. We took it for three minutes because we needed to give enough time for our stochastic to correct itself. And that way, once it does, it, everything should push back up. These candles are going to correct it by doing what it's doing, where it's going to come down with fake momentum and then push back up and close above that line. As long as it keeps doing that, the stochastic should stay to fix itself, and then it would have been a more loving entry. And if you didn't take an entry, look, you, you have another one popping up right here. Literally. You, you, you had another one. Now it's over for that. Again, so notice. One, that 145 window. Look. I told you that's why at three minutes it was going to be so clutch. Because this can happen. It could pull back like we, we predicted. Rejection for the dungeon. And then it can make its way back up. 
Now, the funny thing is, if this candle pushes up, this super trend pushes up to, like, around here, I want to say. And then we're definitely going to be way more comfortable in, these, in this opportunity. Yeah, I took it for three. Now, if you took it for two, you would have been clearing. I wanted to take it for two, but uh, I was kind of, you know, I was feeling a little uncertain. So I just get wanted more time. But if you took it for two, you cleared in like two seconds, right? And yeah, you would have played in two seconds. And if you're in for the next minute with me, then you have 50 seconds, 56 seconds left. I have not called out no losses yet. For y'all, at least. Just so that we're all on the same page, right? I'm not just explaining these opportunities, but I'm clearing them too. And it's the highest payout available to us right now. So never say that I'm giving y'all the, the boo-boo. And the boo-boo. Oh, wait, wait. I just cleared that. I gotta, I gotta, let me, well, you guys should have just played that first one. Where's my sound? Uh, what do I want to do? Bank was made. Bank, bank was, bank, bank was made. All right, now, here we go. Now, me, some of us, the ones that, the one that's, the, to us, that were in, this is where things get tricky for us. The ones that had the last minute in, right? So we got 13 seconds in. There's 30 seconds left in this candle. So why is this annoying? Well, it's annoying because one thing, we could be right and be wrong by a second. See, like, right now, we broke even. I broke even. <clears throat> but I'd rather break even than lose, right? So you, that's where the, the oftentimes where the, you want to, it goes back to adjusting your time a little bit. Now, he, here, for some, there you go. So you guys should have cleared. There you go. Ooh, Carissa, don't worry. I, I literally broke even last second. But just so you, just for, for, just so that we are on the same page, there's still this, everything, it's going to come back up here, right? It's going to come back up here. Look what, you see what I mean? It's going to come back up here. All of this is fake. All right. So I, I want you guys always when you're trading, right? Because this might help you guys understand what your next move is going to be. When you're trading, right? Put yourself in the broker's shoes, right? Like put yourself in the broker's shoes. If, actually, let me give you guys a tool to use for this. Where is it? This one? No, it's this one. All right, look. I don't know what this just clicked. I just clicked something and it might pop something. I don't know what it is, right? But always think of this. This right here, this is called a sentiment tool, right? What it is, is it's basic. What did it just do? Why does it say five? What is I don't know what just happened there. Why do I have... What is, is it opening trades for me or something right now? Hold on. No, it's not. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. I don't know what is this right now and why it's popping up random dollars. What is going on? Hold on. That's tweaking me out. All right. That's not, yeah, that was too. I'm not going to lie to y'all. That was tweaked me out. And I thought I was just randomly taking trades after pressing a button. And I was about to go crazy, right? Yeah, I was about to let me start screaming. But um, what was I saying before that scared me? Okay, okay. So, so put yourself in the broker's shoes, right? Oftentimes, what you're going to notice is this is called the sentiment tool. I, in, a, in, a, in a practical world, all this is telling you is what a majority of the people on the platform are predicting is going to happen in the next few seconds. What I, want you to know, what, what I want you to always think is this, right? The broker sees the same thing. The broker, is, uh, the broker knows one thing. This number is always going to be wrong, right? The majority of people that trade don't make money, right? Like, remember that. The majority of people that trade don't make money. Understanding that a majority of people that trade don't make money, don't think that if a majority of people are doing something, it's going to go that way, right? So why am I saying that, right? I'm saying that because there's going to be opportunities, right? Like the one we just had. What was the problem with the opportunity that we just had? Nothing. It was great for some of us. And for some of us, by the last second, it was at the break even. And I think one of us lost. Like, yeah, uh, Carissa, Carissa took the up, right? The reason why things like that happen is because the broker is going to identify areas, right? The, the, it, it, all, any, anything, like anything really. Think of it like a, there's going to be certain areas where things, the risk just becomes a little higher. Me and Carissa and the person that, wait, Greg, you just, you still were in that trade? If you lost, you was probably in that trade for too long. And a lot of you. All right, all right, you lost already. That's fine. Yeah, no, so, so two losses. All right, we got the losses and the problem because that trade 
it, you know, it's probably the only one that was kind of close for some, whatever. Um, good job, good job, uh, Dave. But again, I just want you guys to understand that oftentimes the broker is going to identify these these narrow windows of opportunity where the risk just increase a little bit more, and it could be by a point or two. Literally, it could be a point different. So why did we lose? We lost because for us that either broke even or lost that trade so because i broke even um the reason why we didn't win that trade is because we never adjusted the time for what was left on the previous candle so instead what we did was we had extra time which was just enough time to push us into that risky window area right and so for example if i were to take a trade right now not take it not saying we're going to take it but if i were to take a trade what happened to my channel oh can i JP one I don't know what just happened to my, my my regular channel, but it was there. But um, if I were to take a trade now, just for future purposes, right? When I if even if I wanted to take a two minute trade, even if, if there's not two minutes left or uh, uh, whatever a whole fifty a whole minute left here, then I have to adjust the time, right? And he, and I was even guilty of this, and it's why I broke even, right? If I would have had a minute and whatever was left on that last candle, then I would have cleared with everybody else. Make sense? But because I didn't, because I didn't have that, because I had enough, to, I had too much time to spare. It just, it was just enough time to either break me even or push Craig and Car uh, Carissa out of their positions. Does that make sense? So moving forward, when you find yourselves in the, yeah, yeah do you end your trade with the candle? Yeah, always, always want to. I always want to end my trade with the candle, because normally what happens is there's a, sometimes you're gonna have these weird vol, especially when the market is in, in these conditions right now, like medium and low. You're gonna have these erratic moments, right? You're gonna have super erratic moments, and so normal. Normally, those erratic moments. If you look at candles enough, you'll notice that normally those erratic moments are gonna happen in the first 20 seconds and the last 20 seconds. So you want to be, you you know, that's why it's always good to if you're taking seconds trade, it's always good to take a second trade after the 45 second mark because then you would already know where the fake movement is going and where the real momentum is going, and then you can just close out with the real momentum. I'll show you guys what I mean. Hold on. But I'm not taking a trade right now. I'm, I'm done to falling trades because we've, we've had a pretty good overall overall session. But I want to give you guys what I mean by this. 17 seconds, 15. Once you figure out where the real momentum is, right now it looks like it's down. Then all you have to do is adjust the time. Whatever, close out with the candle. Wait till it hits the highest point. And, well, yeah. And then just close out with the candle. In this instance, I didn't wait till the highest point. But you guys get what I'm saying? Oh, you it, it becomes a lot easier to identify if you actually look at so remember what i said first 20 seconds you're gonna get the fake movement you saw it go down it was very abruptly fast movement down which is why you don't want to be if you're let's say you have a trade and you had let's say uh 10 seconds left in that trade and it was a buy then these erratic first 20 seconds can push you out of your position which is what you're seeing this is all it could be fake momentum though even though it could be real but it could also be fake i'm just trying to show you as a visual example right so once you see the last 30 seconds, which is what I told you guys earlier, towards the last 30 seconds, you start to see the real movement of the candle. You see what I mean? So in an ideal world, you want to wait. You want to see how much time is left in the candle. You want to have more time than five seconds because five seconds is relatively risky. Then when you get that time, you want to wait, take the entry, and you want to let it close out with whatever the candle is. You want to try to be at the lowest point and let it close out. So if, like for example, the lowest point since we identified it a few seconds ago was right here, you would have closed out, you would have cleared. But you have to wait till the it, it go again. Just rewatch this when I upload it, and it'll make sense. I promise. I don't know if it did. I, I was trying to explain. Just look at the just every twenty. When you're looking at candles, look at the beginning portion of the candle, like right when the candle opens. Look at the movement. Just look twenty seconds and look at how much movement happened. Right, boom. Now look at what happens after when it gets closer to the thirty seconds. Starts to give you another direction. Look. Start to see how it starts to pull away. So in an ideal world, and you also take take everything else into account that as it gets closer to this window right here, it should start to reject because it should start getting into oversold conditions. Then you know that the lower this entry goes, if you close out with it, if you get the really low entry, it should pull back and ultimately close somewhere in that in the higher area. So if 10 seconds, if you got it at that lowest point, then you should be clearing. Just look. If the if that momentum is uh if that momentum is real, which is what I was trying to explain earlier. So you got to first identify if the momentum is real fake. The best way to, the reality is if you're going to take seconds, if you're going to look to take second trades, you want to wait until you more confirmations align. And so, for example, if I'm looking to take seconds trades, 
I would most more likely than not wait until my stochastic is giving me a sign because this is my favorite tool to depend on when it comes to measuring candle momentum. Once my stochastic is aligned, so my K is above the D and shooting, then I would wait for those pullbacks and then I'm looking to take buys and closing off. But if it's still showing that it's tanking, then it would be redundant to go against what everything else is saying. If everything is telling you the price is going down, don't try to find a pullback going down. Instead, try to find a pullback going up. But in this instance, see how the K-line is getting closer, then you would want to, and also as it gets closer to the donchin, if you're going to take those second trades, you just want to be able to end either end or be from the middle to the end. So from the so like if you're not going to end with it, then you want to take it in the beginning 20 seconds. So that way the momentum can just push you into that. But that's riskier. As, this is risky. The, the whole second straight thing, just so we're all on the same page, it is risky. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just took a trade shotgun in five seconds and blinked off of existence. You feel me? I blinked, it was gone. So I don't recommend it, but just so I was trying to explain why, if you understand how the, the time of each candle correlates to the time that you want to be in a trade and how you can capitalize on it. It was a, it was a rant. I apologize. But with all that being said, do me a favor. Go into the little uh go into the little chat area where it says share your results share your results for today yo do me a favor and share your results because that actually helps it helps motivate everybody on the sessions and if some of y'all might win more some of y'all might have lost some it doesn't matter you know it's collectively so that we can motivate each other grow together and ultimately address issues together so we can all make money together right so do me a favor go leave that uh and uh yeah if you got any questions comments Go watch the academy videos because all of these indicators start to make sense to you guys and it'll help all of us identify opportunities a lot easier together so overall i know you guys some of you guys might have four and all some of you guys might have three and one the, the money's there all of you should be in profit right um and that's what's important to me again remember what my goal is my goal is to get you guys to be able to withdraw every week and if we win more than we lose there should be a chance and you guys aren't trading on your own and risking it all so if you leave the trading up to me and we trade together right and then you guys practice on your demo, then you can withdraw at the end of the week real money and still practice and have all the fun on your fake account, right? I mean, not a fake account, but on your demo account. Make sense? So make money, recoup y'all 56, 54, whatever it is a month. So that way you guys can keep paying the, the membership, right? And then do whatever you from there. You want to save money, whatever you want to do, but don't blow it on your own time. You know what I mean? I'm coming on here a few times a day try to get you guys as much profitable uh, trades. And I might even send out some signals because I got to stay up to a 3. I got a 3 a.m. session uh, also. So I'm going to be sending out signals in the time in between. So take the signals. Have fun. Reach out. I'm about to leave the music bumping so you can stay in, jam out. You can just chat, whatever you want to do. But overall, I want to thank you guys for, one, supporting me and my vision to create the biggest community that makes money together and uh, earns, learns, and actually has fun together. I hope you guys know that me... You guys have you guys where are you uh, so there's a there's a section right here uh so let me actually share this screen so i can show you guys what we've been working on on the discord so this is the discord right here right so you can see my discord screen right so right here the signals are going to go where is the signal section binary option signals right here and the for the members is right here the second thing it is that i also removed some things that just weren't they were just kind of there, right? They, we weren't really planning on using them anytime soon. I, just, I also drag things around to make things easier when it comes to the interface. I also learned that you can literally just minimize some areas. So you don't, like, if you're not a free, like, if you're not using free member stuff, you can just minimize it and just clean up your screen some, right? Um, there's a lot. There's a lot. They, they, oh, also, I added some things, right? So, like, for the, like, if you, Let's say you got a family member or a friend. Yeah, I'm doing 3 a.m. Also, let's say you got a family member or a friend that wants to that wants to learn how to trade. They can you can invite them here. They can start learning for free, right? And in the free area, there's resources here that can help them learn. Like I somebody here earlier said they never traded before, so I tagged them on this. If you haven't looked at the, if this is what I was talking about earlier, if you haven't taken a look at these things here, this goes in depth. Somebody asked me earlier, like, how oh, you use your parallel channel? This is a perfect example of the opportunities we just identified here. Right. Some of the people ask me like, oh, when you use your trend lines, how do you find opportunities? Perfect examples of what you want to see here. Right. So I, I uploaded some I uploaded a lot of the different things here because I know it'll help. Right. Um, this is where the free sessions will be, whatever this or one of these two will be where the free sessions will be. Uh, I probably could remove one of these if I'm being honest. Um, the past live. So the recorded session is going to go in here once I'm done like editing it and putting it up. It'll go in here. Uh, resources and resources. Just so you guys all know, there's this folder here. 
this folder it cost me a lot of money and i'm giving it to you guys for free because ultimately if you watch this it'll help you become a better trader overall forex binary stock whatever you trade it'll help you be better and again this community so that I can help you guys become better traders overall so this is free you guys you know it's there for you guys because you guys are already paying uh also my strategy guide feel free to use it it breaks down my strategy completely uh if you don't know indicators I got an indicator cheat sheet there that you guys can use right I'm, I'm sorry I'm going over everything that I you, some of you guys might not know is here the academy there's 18 videos here that breaks everything down I originally because I knew that you guys uh, we we'll look at the strategy as a whole. I had it that way, but then I broke it down into individual indicators and adding them on. So you'll see from one indicator with another one added, and another one added, and then you get the final product, and then you have op different whatever. You have enough videos there to learn that, plus some more that I'll be adding. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff here that I'm working on. Uh, oh, I, I actually have a few guests lined up. I think that I'm gonna do one on Friday. I'll let you guys know for sure. Uh, so we'll be putting together some questions. I'll, I'll confirm with them. If it won't be Friday, it'll be Saturday, but um, I'll confirm with them first. I'll have you guys come up with some questions for them. And yeah, we'll move it forward. We'll be here when we do those sessions. When it's there, you guys can feel free to even unmute yourselves and ask those questions um, and ha have an actual conversation with this person. So that's exciting. The music vibes, I, you know, whatever. There's enough things here to go through. Um, overall, I'm trying to give you guys the most pleasant experience when it comes to the platform itself, right? Player two OTC and got an L back. Don't worry, that that's gonna happen to the best of us, right? But overall, um, I am putting as much. One of the things that I've realized is, and I actually spoke about this earlier on my Instagram, right? Um, I I'm fortunate enough to have gotten to a point where money is not the biggest motivation anymore. I get more fulfillment from seeing your guys' results, right? And so my goal on this channel is always on this server, better said, is always to not just make you guys money but equip you with the tools needed to keep making you money and ultimately create a, co a community that supports each other, right? Where you guys, if you have a question, you can ask it in the chat up above and somebody else can answer it if they got the answer. You know what I'm saying? Overall, a space that's safe. You don't have to feel like if you could take it losses, you can't share it because you might be able to share it and somebody can hop in and give you that answer, right? So I'm seeing it manifest. I'm seeing you guys doing, you know, I appreciate you guys. I want to get this. I want to start doing the free sessions, uh, but I want to get into wait until we get 200. Yeah, look out for the fake pages. I get a fake page of me every other day. You know what I'm saying? People want to be me so bad. Now nah, I'm just like, but um, yeah. Overall, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Uh, if we can invite your friends, your family, anybody that you want to help learn how to trade, they don't have to get the the subscriber. They can literally just be members. Um, it'll help the community grow. And also, shout out to everybody who's given us a boost. Like we're literally one boost away. From having even more uh more uh stuff to go actually let's see where is it? how can i let's see server yeah so as you guys can see we're one i can't do it it won't let me i, I i've done too many but um uh, we'll get badges and a whole bunch of new things we'll also be able to get our own link so like our own branded link that you can just share out which would be dope but with all that being said i appreciate every single one of you guys i've been on for longer than expected and i'm a little I want to get ready. I actually want to play a little bit of Call of Duty before I send out some signals. So my brain is fresh. You feel me? And so, uh, Robin, if you're here, let's get on. Uh, Javon, if you're here, get on. Whoever's on that plays Call of Duty with me, get on. Uh, now, with all that being said, I'm out, y'all. I hope you've had a profitable session. I hope you guys are excited for some, for the later session if you're going to be on. And, I, oh, I'm a, it's funny. Look, I'm going to make a channel here for, for the gamers where you can leave your gamer tag and we can all play with each other. I'm gonna do that because there's a few gamers on here right so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that in a little bit um but yeah i appreciate all you guys you guys are amazing you know taking time on it's on a whatever day it is i think it's wednesday on a wednesday night to be here with me nothing better and uh let me end it off with this bank was made oh shit here we go again i got one two three four five six seven eight damn then my Hey, all right, all right, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. All right, I'm gonna give y'all one more, I'm gonna give y'all one more. One more, just one more. Let's see. Oh, no, that, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one, that's the wrong one. <laughs> nah, oh. Surprise, motherfucker. I'm out of here, yo. <laughs> Peace.
my God. 